Do you know about Gandhara School of Art or Mathura School of Art or what is Amravati School of Art? Do you have any idea about the various mudras? Let's say the Bhumisporsha Mudra or the Dhyana Mudra or the Vitarka Mudra. Do you have any idea about the various paintings like the Kalamkari painting, Madhuvani painting, worldly paintings? Do you have any idea about the Tribhanga pose? Do you know that the temple in Puri dedicated to Lord Jagannath is one of the finest examples of Nagara temple architecture? India is a melting pot of various cultures. It is indeed a land of exquisite and exclusive art. It is a land of rich cultural heritage. Culture that unites us with all our diversities. Heritage that binds us in an everlasting fraternal bond and everyone should go through this beautiful book Indian art and culture that defines the enigma that India is Indian art and culture by Nitin Singhania sir is not only a very beautiful book but it is also a very informative book though this book is primarily written for UPSC as well as other civil service for example WBCS but I personally feel that everyone should read this book to understand what India is to appreciate the rich cultural diversity and rich heritage that India has Indian art and culture by Nitin Singhania sir is a must-have book for every aspirant of civil services be it for UPSC or be it for WBCS it is written in note format and it has vast coverage of minuscule details and facts on topics that are covered in the syllabus of Indian heritage and culture for GS paper 1 in the civil service examination it is a book that offers comprehensive and latest information covering the broad field of knowledge on Indian art, paintings, music and architecture aided with several pictures, flowcharts and relevant diagrams. The book consists of questions from past year's UPSC prelims as well as main examination. It is divided into 28 chapters, 4 appendices and a detailed pluck out chart on the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. This edition comes along with the online supplementary resource link consisting of informative content-based videos, practice mock test papers and biannual current affairs. It is a comprehensive four-color edition divided into four sections, the visual arts, the performing arts, the culture of India and appendices. Two new chapters on edicts and inscriptions and education in ancient and medieval India and one new appendix on terms from ancient and medieval history is added. Updated previous year's questions and answers of UPSC, CAC, CDS as well as CAPF examinations along with a chapter summary at the end of every chapter. Videos, biannual current affairs related to Indian art and culture along with mock test questions can be definitely accessed through the online supplementary link provided in this book. So let me take you through a brief tour of this book to show how beautifully this book is written. These are actually the new editions like uh, the edicts and the inscription, the education in ancient and medieval India, the various architectural features, uh, the Ayaka pillar, the Ganesh Ratha, the new topics like the allegorical portraits of Jahangir, the illustrated manuscripts, uh, new topics like folk musics of India, Gaudiya Nitra, uh, then Kulattam. There are new topics of Tantrism, Poshuputi Shaivism, causes of the origin of Buddhism. So how beautiful this book is written as well as designed. I am actually completely mesmerized by the, not only by the content, but the design of this book. It's actually very well illustrated. The pages actually depict 
the rich heritage that our beautiful country india is and it's absolutely uh, written in a very student friendly format for example i can now see that this is the tem basics of temple architecture the triratha the pancharatha the shaptaratha we have the various architectures like the uh, the dravida the vesara the nagara so how beautiful this book is indeed written the various forms of art like the hoysala art the spala art this is actually the chenakeshwar temple where uh, if i am not wrong the madanikas the beautiful madanikas are actually found in the chenakeshwara temple so these are the list of prominent temples in india which are very important for example the choshotti jogini temple in madhya pradesh this is a very well known, well known temple it is a temple in circular pattern if i am not wrong so this is uh, now the architectural period of the sultanate period the jaunpur school of architecture which is patronized by the sharki rulers this is the bijapur school the mughal architecture you can find the images of the buland darwaza the fatehpur sikri the salim chisti tomb the agra fort the uh, the famous taj mahal taj mahal is one of the mughal monuments whose length and breadth the ratio they are equal and we have the bibi ka makabra that is sasta taj mahal goribet taj mahal the six style the uh, the various architectures in kashmir the martand sun temple so these are very important the various sun temples in india so these are illustrated in a in a very good manner actually and these are the various questions from not only previous upsc cac but also the upsc capf and the cds examination these are the edicts and inscription the various minor pillar edicts of ashoka the major pillar edicts of ashoka the essence of elahabad pillar the beshnagar pillar inscription the junagar junagar means the rudra daman the nanaghat inscriptions this is the chapter on indian paintings the mural paintings the elora cave paintings the lipakshi painting this is the pala school of art the apabhramsho school of art the kishangar school of painting that originated in rajasthan the bundi school of painting the kishangar school of painting is also known as bani thani this is the kangra school of painting this is the tanjore painting famous for their leaf casting in the, the the paintings are cast in a gold foil this is the mysore painting and after that we have our contemporary artist the raja ravi varma paintings from nandolal bosh the cubic style of painting cubic style of painting is basically followed by the eminent painter mf hosain the various folk paintings as i was just mentioning madhubani painting then tikuli art there is a difference between tikuli art and madhubani painting the potochitra painting the kalamkari painting the potua art the kalighat paintings the worldly paintings the worldly tribal paintings so these things are depicted in a very uh, illustrated manner in a very informative manner another main features of this book is the questions all the relevant questions are provided and uh, for our mains examination the previous year's questions from 2020 uh, to 1989 all the questions are given so this is actually a very 
uh, well illustrated and well informed books for example we are now going through the various indian dance forms the tippani the garba of gujarat the dandiya of gujarat the the dumhal of jammu and kashmir remember these questions not only come in upsc but also uh, in the gk sections of the west bengal civil service and these are important for both prelims as well as your mains question paper one thing i loved about the the book is the absolute mind blowing illustrations for example the kalira pattu uh, the oldest martial art it is one of the oldest martial arts in kerala if i'm not wrong then the lathi the toda the gatka the mardani khel the tradi uh, this has origins in kolhapur district of the maharashtra so this is beautifully illustrated and when you go through this book you will actually relive uh, the uh, relive you will actually uh, visit every part of india Uh, visually and in a virtual mode so this is definitely a must have book for not only every aspirant of civil services but also every person uh, be uh, he may be indian or he may be a non indian but if if they are interested about the rich cultural heritage of india this is a book that uh, they must have with them and they must go through these are the various fairs of india like the kumbh mela so all in all this is a very good book and it is absolutely recommended and it is absolutely a must have book